What's up my pretty peoples? In this video, I'll be explaining a new filament testing procedure I've been working on. The majority of the questions I get are about print settings for certain filaments. I figured filament reviews would do the most good for my printer peoples. If you're having problems printing with a specific material, these videos should help you dial in your settings. I also want to showcase what mechanical characteristics you can expect from a filament and have a chance to show off some of the amazing filaments that have been developed for the FDM printers. In each video, I will showcase a filament and run it through a series of five material properties tests and five geometry tests. The material test will demonstrate specific properties that you should consider when choosing a material for a print. Layer adhesion, yield, stiffness, thermal stability, and impact resistance. The five geometry tests will demonstrate the best settings and potential finish of a filament. I'll be using three of the testing models Make created along with a Benchy and a cellular lamp. Ooh. All prints will be from my modified Ultimaker original with a V6 hot end. I'll be explaining why I chose my print settings to help guide you through determining what will work best for your 3D printer. Do not just plug in the numbers I give and expect the same results. Just like people, every 3D printer is different. Alright, so for the material tests. The first two of the five mechanical tests will be using the same split test you saw in my Volcano hot end video. If you've not seen that, check out the video up here. It simply pulls the part in a way that stresses the layer bonding and not the material itself. I will be printing the yield test where the layers run along the height of the part and will show the point at which the material yields. The stiffness test will give us deflection versus force of a print held in a vise measured against a protractor. The thermal stability test is one of my more complicated tests and uses a temperature controller along with a hot end heater cartridge and a thermocouple to subject the printed piece to varying temperatures. The print is put in tension so when the glass transition temperature is hit, the print will begin to stretch apart. I'll be moving up in increments of 5 degrees Celsius, holding for 2 minutes and then measuring for stretch before increasing the temperature again. My most scientific test of all is the impact test. I take a small plastic sphere and throw them at the benchy. I throw them like really hard, like super de duper. This may not have a number I can put on the graph, but the visual comparison says a lot. And it looks pretty dang cool. So that's what I've come up with for the filament reviews from here on out. If you have any filaments you want me to run through this crazy gauntlet of tests, send me an email and be sure to send in a filament so I can print all of these models. Don't just send me six feet and expect a review based on a small single print. I will be making a new playlist with all of my filament tests in it, so be sure and subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload a new filament. Also, if you have any suggestions as to a certain filament you want me to try out, hit me up in the comments down below. Hold on tight for a series of sweet, sweet filament reviews, and I will see you next time.